IBM Enterprise Content Management can solve many different business challenges by supporting your knowledge workers, providing information to improve decisions, enhancing case outcomes, and enabling businesses to take control. Today we will focus on the capabilities for advanced case management and how when coupled with document capture they can be used for loan processing. In today's video we will showcase loan processing from client application through loan approval and funds disbursement. Bill, the loan officer, has received an online application for a personal loan from John. Bill reviews and begins processing the loan application. At multiple points in the process, the applicant, John, is updated on status and any additional loan requirements. Rich, the bank's underwriter, reviews the loan package and ensures processing completeness prior to loan approval. Bill receives approval notification, disperses funds, and completes processing of the loan for John. Bill is a loan officer responsible for evaluating applicants to determine if they qualify for the desired loan. He works with all applicants to ensure their satisfaction with the lending process, leading to additional business as loyal customers. Bill begins in the loan officer in basket where he sees that several new loan applications require review. Bill notes the target closure date and selects a work item to begin the process. Bill opens the case and begins his review with the application, which is available in the Documents tab. He notes that this is an application for an unsecured personal loan. Bill knows that this will require a credit check, income verification, and additional miscellaneous requirements in order to be underwritten. One of the key items in completing the application review was to process a customized checklist of loan considerations, key to approval. Bill reviews the checklist results, which have automatically been added to the case detail information. Bill reviews the applicant's financial information and sees that a sizable balance currently exists in the applicant account. He notes that supporting documentation, the current banking statement, has been added to the case folder. Bill sees the various tasks required for this application along with their status. He notes the conduct a meeting task and accesses the applicant's contact information. Bill has contacted and communicated loan approval requirements to the applicant, which he formally documents in the conduct a meeting task. Completing his review of the loan application, Bill's processing of the application will initiate a number of automated tasks and document requests required for approval. John has applied for a personal loan at his financial institution. He receives notification that supporting documentation is required for loan processing, which he provides prior to reviewing additional status on the processing of his loan request. John receives a text message that a current pay statement is required in order to continue processing of his loan application. Upon login, John is presented with status that shows loan processing progress along with a target closure date, detailed contact information, and a list of documents, in this case the pay statement, that he will need to provide in support of the loan. He locates his most current pay statement and takes a picture using his mobile device. John reviews the quality of the photo to ensure all the necessary data has been captured. Document classification ensures that the proper template is used to identify and extract key information, which is then used to attach the document to John's case file. John has finished providing documentation in support of his loan. He has returned to the Loan Processing Requirements page where he reviews the status of his loan application and is happy to see that he is back on track to meet his targeted closure date. As the underwriter for the financial institution, Rich is responsible for assessing the applicant's loan eligibility while also protecting the bank's profitability and risk based on loan terms and default potential. Rich reviews the underwriter dashboard in order to understand the bank's loan portfolio and processing status. Detailed information is available for any deep dives that he may wish to pursue. Rich sees a number of loans that need to be underwritten. He selects the top one from the queue for processing. Rich is presented with the history of the case. He notes the many tasks that have been completed and the many documents, including the final loan summary that have been added to the case. The capability to automatically package and provide case summary information enables efficient review by the underwriter of the loan request. Rich reviews the final loan summary and based on this review is satisfied with the processing of this loan request. Rich reaches out to the loan officer, Bill, to ensure that all details and any specific nuances with this loan request have been understood, evaluated, and documented. Rich adds a comment to the case, stating that all underwriting has been completed and the loan should be approved and funds dispersed. 
Upon completion of the underwriting process, Bill will approve the loan and disperse funds as required. Bill sees that the personal loan for John is ready for approval. He opens this task to complete processing. Bill approves the loan request and disbursement of funds. In today's video, we've seen how case management and document capture have worked together to ensure an efficient and effective processing of a loan application. For more information, please contact IBM. Thank you.